And one of your other songs that probably the world probably knows the most about is you were on the South Southpaw yeah. Beast remix. Yeah. 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 How did that happen? Oh, they remixed it because Eminem hated it. Okay. For, okay. Watch what you say about my boy Eminem because he's. What did oh, I he's, say? Okay. He just hated I said it. that he hated okay, I, my I, song. I didn't want you to go in and be like, Oh no, Eminem, Eminem and his stupid fucking rap. No, you know? I think okay. he's oh, great. No. He just okay. doesn't like my music. Okay. He doesn't. Wait. So Eminem hated. What, what does that have to do? Because he was in charge of it. Because uh, Shady Records are the one that produced all the songs on there. And you're on a Shady Records freaking mm, thing. Well, that's what had to get. So, so what happened was. Um, Antoine, the producer for, or the director for the movie, right? If people know, South Paul, Jake Gyllenhaal, yeah. movie, yeah. Sick, sick movie, movie. So, great movie. Great so movie. the director boxes, okay, right? And when he boxes, pop, 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 and he's like practicing, he listens to my music. Oh. So when he went to make the movie, he was like, we have to put this song Beast as the intro song. And as they were going through it, then the record company was like, no, 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 no. Like, we don't own that song. We don't know who those guys are. Let's put a different song there. And he's like, no, fuck that. We want, I want this song to be the opening song. This is what I boxed to. It makes so much sense. Um, and then we went into like negotiations with the record company, which was exhausting. And they wanted me to sign over the rights to that song, which I'm really glad I didn't. Wait, hold on. So, so, so you get an email from this guy. He's like, hey, we want to use this song for a major motion picture. And you're like, Dana. No, no. So it didn't go to me. I don't answer emails. <laughs> <laughs> so so we we had a, a publisher at the time okay. um who we realized this was over our heads so our, our our publisher was the one doing negotiations um and then they just kept coming back and they're like hey they 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 think this will be really big for you so they want you to sign over the song and i was like well i'm not going to sign the song over like which i'm glad i didn't because that song just crested a million dollars in revenue four months ago what yeah one song and the, and the remix is did is that like a you wanted someone to be on? I don't or? know if I've been paid by the remix. Um, but so essentially, what they said is they they were like, well, we we don't like the song the way it is. I don't think they like my verses or something like that. Um, so they wonder they remixed the song. And I would have told they, them to shut up. Like this is it. This is a song. <laughs> nice. Take I was it like, or leave I said, well, that's <laughs> fine. And they're like, well, yeah, we're gonna put uh, Buster Rhymes Tech Nine. Um, Buster Rhymes was, was so good. But yeah, so then they did the remix of it. So then they um, owned more of the song. Okay. Yeah. How, I, can I, are you allowed to say like how much they, did they pay? Did they pay you for like, yeah. So I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, I don't fucking care. <laughs> um, they paid us $60,000 for song usage. Okay. And I don't know what I get on the backside. What is going on guys? I am Max tuning your host. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. If you want to see the full magical, lovely episode, just click the link down in the description or search. Don't be sour on your favorite podcast streaming service. And remember, thank you for tuning in.